Okay, we're going to try to do part one of Mega Man X6. Oh, I hate this game so badly. So we'll just start off with that. This is probably the one that is the most frustrating and the toughest one for me to play. Because um, there's a lot of things on it that uh, just make the game... Terribly tough. The space colony Eurasia was taken over by Sigma. He hired a mysterious Rapoid Dynamo. Dynamo led to Eurasia into orbit toward the Earth. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. This beginning. <coughs> the tragic curse crisis. Ooh, taking Dirt's destiny. One Rapoid made a crash attack against the Fury space colony. It was a successful attack and the space colony was destroyed. But although the Earth was saved, the huge explosion seriously damaged it. This was off of X5. And for the battle against Sigma. <clears throat> X and Z were defeated. Sigma narrowly escaped with their lives, however. Only one would return from the battle. <clears throat> A blue light X. Still gripping a familiar saber in his hand. Three weeks later at present. There's so much pollution on the ruined earth from the explosion that the repoids can barely work. <clears throat> and a man is... <clears throat> so a lot of this is going to be the intro. Um, so a lot of this first part is going to be mostly storyline and things of that nature. So um, you'll find out who those two gentlemen on the right side of the screen are when you see uh, the game itself. Um, I'm going to leave the game level on normal and the game speed on normal. The only thing I'm going to change is the dash button because I like to have it over like where the shoulder button is. Um, so we'll fix that. You can play as Zero or X. You have to be able to get Zero kind of early, though, to play as him. I'll tell you how to do that um, as we get up there. How you can game early. Gate says, what happened? I heard they avoid the collision. Gate is the guy on the lower right-hand corner um, when you're watching the game. But they might as well have failed. <clears throat> and for this, we should be thankful. Um, all of it's in Japanese except for... Um, there's the um, subtitles on the bottom. This is not all. Something else is going to happen. I feel uneasy. What is this? Hmm, this is debris, but what from? Was there any violent battle here? I wonder how many people in Repoids were sacrificed. Um, wait, this is one week later. They don't tell you what it is right off the bat. It's finally done. I'm going mad and it is so liberating. He goes crazy. No, the plan has only just begun. I'm going to bring all low grade repoids into submission. Those too simple to understand my work. I'll build an ideal world for on, only for repoids. A wonderful world where I control everything. So it says wake up X. Now you're the only one. There's no one else left to fight. Get up now, X. And Zero talking to him. And then Aliyah gets him up. A giant maverick is acting up. I'll send the detailed info later. You rush to the scene. And that's where you start. To get Zero, you can face him in the first in the first stage. You have to use a... Well, Aliyah says most of the mechanoids became mavericks. It's been a long time. Stay alert, X. I'll be fine since I have the armor and saber. Since I fixed the Falcon armor very quickly, the dash function is incomplete. All right. Anyway, I will stop the mechanoids. Okay, go to the entrance of the ruins ahead. So to get him, though, you'll have to fight like the nightmare version of him, and then that, that unlocks him at the beginning, uh, doing it that way. And again, I am playing this game on Rookie Hunter because I've been through the game itself, and I just do not want to go through that again. And you can use the saber like that. We'll be using the falcon armor for most of the game and most of the playthrough because I like it better than most of the other ones. As we get on up there, we'll use the blade armor and the um, 
we'll use the blade armor a little bit more too as well those seem to be the two best armors for me so if you see me not taking too much damage or anything or no damage that's why and like I said I'm just trying to show you guys where stuff is and to explain things to you as I'm going along a lot of people think that this one's hard because of the um, the nightmare phenomenon on some of the stages I don't have a problem with the nightmare phenomenon on some of the stages as a matter of fact I can get through most of the stages even though they have the, the nightmare thing might have affected them um, I did not mean to hit that button <laughs> I was trying to hit the dash button on the other on the other side, and um, there we go. For some reason, it didn't go. But whenever I hit the button on the other side, it went. Hey, use the giga attack. I'll have it back soon enough, anyway. There you are. Are you all right? Beyond here is a giant. Mechanoid. It suddenly activated due to a radio wave problem. We are afraid and we got hurt. I'll take care of this. Return to the hunter base now. All right. It acts like it's possessed. Be careful. This thing, depending upon how you move and depending upon how it moves, it can be a little bit easier to deal with. I think I put the dash button on the wrong side. I may have to go back and fix that soon. I think, like I said, I think I put it on the wrong side. I think I put it on the left, and it's on that needs to be on the right. See, you can hit him, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to... You can hit some certain things with your dash, too. What you're really trying to do is you're really trying to hit that little orb there. That's, that's what kills the, the machine. I think I put my finger on the button the wrong way. I think I need to have it over here instead of over here. That could be an issue. I think I can go back and fix it though. Without too much problem. And zero comes down. That's the nightmare zero. That would be the first um, non uh, kind of maverick that you would fight. There's Places in each stage where you can fight like High Max, Zero, and uh, Dynamo. And you'll see High Max right here. He's the guy in the upper right hand corner on the screen on the um, wallpaper. You can't do much to him the first couple times you meet him. I knew Zero was doing this. Who are you? High Max, I am called. I'm investigating the Zero Nightmare. What? Did you say the Zero Nightmare? What are you trying to do? What is your connection to the Zero Nightmare? What about Zero? You're behind this. You are dangerous. I'll dispose of you. Um, you can hit him a couple of times. Um, it won't do anything to him. And I think after a minute or two of hitting him, it, um, I think, yeah, it just goes to that. Maverick Hunter, not amazing. We will destroy the Zero Nightmare. You are not wanted here. Keep out. And then he goes off. I could not inflict any damage on him. Hi, Max. The Zero Nightmare. Hmm. Did I dream about Zero? What is happening? And then, um, at the end of every stage, you have something that's like this. It'll tell you if you have a new weapon, if you rescued any of them, um, and, and some information about the boss. We're going to save him. That's what it looked like before. That's about what it'll look like again. Almost, anyway. I really need to change the dash. Now this is Isaac. Attention all Reploids on Earth. As you all know, these are chaotic, disturbing times. The nightmare is upon us. It shows Reploids a kind of dream for human beings. No, it's a nightmare. The nightmare makes Reploids confused. In the, most, in the worst case, they may malfunction or delete themselves. Due to the space colony incident. There are a few reploids or humans are left on Earth. We won't accept sacrifice anymore. This would bring us to the Earth crisis. Taking the matter seriously, we have sent investigators to the eight suspected 
areas to uncover the mystery of this nightmare phenomena. It's said that the nightmare phenomena are caused by a ghost of zero, known as an ace maverick hunter. What are you talking about? Wait, X, let him finish his story. Now I'd like to call on volunteers. Unite with us and help our calls. Work for these eight investigators. Our goal is to wipe out the nightmare and to delete the Zero's ghosts. Come together for our future. This high max will lead the mission. We guarantee your safety if you join us. Both Maverick Hunters and Repoids now suffer. Let's preserve our future together. We're waiting for you, everyone. How dare he talks about Zero that way. Zero gave his life to save us. It can't be helped now. Actually, we saw the Nightmare 2 shaped as Zero, so we also need to investigate what the Nightmare is. For now, leave Isaac and Hymax alone. I wonder what are those suspected areas he mentioned. Can you find out, Leah? No, due to a strong jamming. I can't look into it from here. So I've got to go in there blind. Maybe I'll be able to feel the nightmare directly. Besides, I'm suspicious of the investigators. The nightmare of the mission is risky. But we must minimize the damage by uncovering and defeating it. As Isaac said, we cannot allow any more repoids to be lost. X, return to the hunter base now. Roger, I'll be back right away. Hello, Oscar. This is Oscar, guys. We are now beginning our mission to catch the eight areas that Isaac had sent investigators to investigate the nightmare phenomenon, but considering the situations of the Maverick Hunters, you are the only hunter who could accomplish these difficult missions. As we've lost zero, you are our only hope. Can you do it, X? I'll do it. I've just obtained the report on the nightmare areas and the investigators sent to the areas. However, the details of the situations in the areas are still unknown due to bad radar transmission. Also, in any in case any changes occur in the nightmare area, I'll show you by a red signal. It is difficult difficult to predict what changes are, though. That's okay. I'll know when I get there. I will discover what the nightmares are and what Isaac's intentions are. Don't push yourself too hard, X. Remember, you are our only hope. Roger. Um, X. What is Aaliyah? Um, nothing. Just be careful. Some reports may accept what Isaac says is true and come to the nightmare areas. If you find them, secure them, and then send them to the hunter base. The repoids you have rescued can be surveyed here by processing by pressing the RB. And if you obtain any items, I'll process them into parts you can use. You can equip the parts with the LB. And good luck, X. So, there are different ones in different stages. They can help, and you can have different parts. But I'm not really going to worry too much about them. I mean, if I see them, I'll, I'll kind of pick them up as I can and tell you what they do. Um, but as far as all that goes, uh, I'm not sure. We're going to go against the Amazon area with against Commander Yamark. Or is it Yamark? Or is it Yamark? forget what it's called. I think it's Yamark. Okay. So, this, so you, you'll eventually have to come back to this stage. Um, I'm trying to see if I can change my, yeah, I can change it down here. Okay. I want to make this RB, not LB. Okay. Now, okay. Okay. There are repoids that are in the stages. Well, you'll see them whenever I get to them. Like that guy right there that says help. If you touch them, they say thanks. Now, sometimes there are nightmare things, and you'll see one of those here in just a little bit. And if the nightmare things get to them before you get to them, they turn them bad, and then you have to you have to shoot them, and that destroys them, and you can't get them again. So you get so try to get as many as you can. Some of them have helpful stuff. Some don't, most of them don't, but some of them do. If you want to go through and collect them all, be my guest. I mean, I've done it before, but it's it's kind of stressful to do. And it really doesn't, it doesn't really help unless you're going to use X's um, other armor and things like that. So you come upon a capsule. X, I wonder when peace will return. I wanted you to live in peace in a, war, in a warless era, but we must put an end to this nightmare. Forgive me, all I can do is give you this armor. However, for security reasons, the armor won't work until the four programs combine. 
Collect four programs to complete the armor. Now I will install a foot program of the blade armor. This program will enhance your dash performance and enable you to perform the mock dash. You can dash while jumping, and you'll be invincible in the beginning. For the earth, for the future. Good luck. So you have to find all four parts of the blade armor. Once you find all four parts of the blade armor, you can then get all four parts of the shadow armor. The shadow armor doesn't do, to me, it doesn't do a whole, whole lot. But, um, that's the nightmare. The, the little thing that's got, like, the squid tentacles coming off of him. Those are nightmares. Now, there's a sub-tank over here, but we can't get it yet. See? There's that sub-tank right there. You can also duck on this game like some of the other ones. That helps. Now, you want to collect these blue things that they drop, and you want to collect them, like, as fast as you can, because they're, they're like soul things, and you have to collect them to use more parts for the different armors. And um, you want to collect them when they're bigger, because when you get them when they're bigger, they're worth more. See on here, like, the soul thing is over beside the help. See, like, I've rescued five of them, and the soul thing is, like, 20. If you get so many of them, it opens up the last stage. Not only that, it allows you to equip more items, and also it raises your hunter rank. Your hunter rank will help with a lot of things. See, this one's right there. You know, don't let him get the dude. And you'll have a lot of that coming on. Slide down here. There's one here. Boom, boom, heart tank. So for right now, you're done with this level. Even though there's a sub-tank in here, you'll have to come back and get the sub-tank. Those little things, you can hit a button and a Leo will give you some information. It's not necessary, and it's really not necessary to pause the game to do that. Now this right here. Be careful. Because even though I can drop on certain spikes and stuff, the rest of you might be playing on regular mode. And if you're playing on regular mode, it, it's hard to it's hard to gauge where you're supposed to land. Now we're gonna get some extra repoids here. You can you can kill those things like that, but they'll come back. You'll see me taking a lot of unnecessary damage. But that's because I'm just trying to run through it and trying to show you guys where stuff is. So that you can see where things are. There's the boss's door. I'm not quite ready to go in there yet, though. I like being able to kind of show you guys. You can kind of see by my hands what I'm doing on the controller in case you... Um, get to a part that you might not understand what I'm doing. That way you can sync up the videos and you can kind of watch what my hands are doing so that you can do about the same thing. The first boss is Commander Yamarick. I don't think he's real, real tough. Let's see what the time is on there. 16 minutes? Okay, we're still we're doing good. I got a really weird setup looking right here in here so if something happens just deal with me just for a little bit you're the nightmare investigator commander Yamarick yes I am in charge of the Amazon area tell me what is Zero up to you must know something Zero has nothing to do with this stop accusing him I won't trust both the Maverick Hunter and Repoid researcher I don't know what you're thinking I won't end up being betrayed and deleted I will delete you first so he sees you as hostile. I know it kind of looks like a female a little bit, but it's a, it's a, well, they refer to it as a him. You can shoot those green, those green bolts when they're coming at you. You shouldn't have to, but just in case, I mean, you can shoot them. Most of them you can duck if they're just over head level or you think they're going to hit you in the head, you can duck. But just charge up a couple times, mess him up that way. Now this next stage, we might get the, we might be able to get the heart tank, and we might be able to get the armor on the same run. I'll explain to you in a minute. 
You found a mysterious item. It's related to the nightmare. Let's call it the nightmare soul. Collect the souls to increase ranking. As your hunter ranking increases, you'll be able to equip parts. The higher your ranking, the more you can equip parts. When you achieve the GA rank, you will be able to equip the limited parts. Unlike the other parts, the limited parts should be equipped at the weapon select screen. Don't forget that you can use it one time only. We got the Yammer, op the Yammer option, which is Dragonflies help you on offense and defense. You see there's a plus two beside that one and a plus two there. Each of them have names, and then there's another little thing there, and then another thing. Now, that's Life Up, Energy Up, Super Recover, and Rapid, uh, I think it's Rapid 5. It's either Rapid 5 or S, and Leg Part B. So say Commander Yamark was an, an ex-investigator in the Amazon area. He was a reploid created for the Nature Preservation Project. He burnt the forest by control disorder. He wasn't accused of the incident, but someone altered Yamark's flying system. He crashed and died. He was created by my colleague, Gate. You know, save after every one of them anyway. So, okay. Now we're going to go to this next stage. Well, first we'll, there will be a cutscene. Then we'll go into the next stage. Is Isaac and Gate talking. I have a report. An investigator was already destroyed by that Maverick Hunter. I know. It's shameful they can't beat that mysterious old robot. Isaac, keep an eye on that Hunter for a while. Yes, sir. Oh, how is the experiment going? Everything is going great and the effect is brilliant. We achieved 99.98% success rate by now. This is an amazing invention. But if you use HiMax in just minutes, you can control all reploids on Earth. Even the Maverick Hunter was no match. No, continue the experiment for now. I want you to keep gathering data. Yes, sir. By the way, have you found what you're looking for? I guess it doesn't exist in this world. Oh, no, it does. I've seen him. Besides, he isn't some low reploid that would die in such a trivial battle. I'll admit, he's as persistent as X. They're talking about zero. Alive or not, there are many options. I'll find out for sure. Hmm, it doesn't matter to me. You are on your own. I don't need the body of zero. Anyway, just do the work and keep an eye on X. Yes, sir. I don't think you really deal with Isaac or anything really. Now see if they if they've got like a red uh, background behind them, um, the nightmares affecting them, and the stage may be a tad bit different in certain areas. Um, it doesn't like I said it doesn't really bother me that much. You see how you save different ones, rescue, death, and missing. Um, so, but it really doesn't. Uh, like I said, the nightmare thing really doesn't bother me. We're going to take on Ground, uh, Ground Scaravich. This stage, you can go through it two or three times and go through the different areas two or three times. It's kind of random. There is a little bit of a selection way, but most of it's just random. So you'll drop down here. You'll probably have to go through the stage a couple times anyway. We're going to go high and go through this teleporter. And it brought me to this one. This is really not the one I wanted to be at first. Okay. Now there's some reploids up here that you'll have to save. There's one of them. If you see one of these dudes right here, if you see one of these um, nightmares going the opposite way from you when you're approaching them, that probably means there's a reploid nearby and they're probably going to try to get the reploid. Like that one right there just did. Shoot. Good thing I was right near him and I could blast him into oblivion. You want to get to these statues and then just destroy them and I'll take you back to where you were. Like right here. You need to blast the top two, the middle and the bottom. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, as long as you get it done. So it doesn't matter which order you do that in. And there's four of those. Try to stay high. You should be able to get the heart and the body part. We may have to come back in and do it again. These things are such a pain in the butt. 
and you got to hit them square on too you can't hit them with just a little bit of the with just a little bit of the buster no you have to square up and hit them straight up it can't just skim off of them it has to hit them it has to thoroughly connect that's another thing I hate about this you can't shoot them in the top of it the top of it connect with their head and they go down that way no 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 that doesn't happen kind of time those stupid things. I hate them stupid things too. Now watch me have to do the stupid stage again. The heart and the and the um, the heart and the armor should be in the same in the same section. So if you find one crap crap Be very careful when rescuing those. I can drop down holes because I'm on that thing. But the rest of you may not be as lucky. And you need to use your dash. Oh. pretty good well that's really going real well okay well that was the best totem pole so far have any problems there we'll go up as high as we can okay this is the one with as you see there's that but we're gonna go about it a, we're gonna go about it a specific way because we want to um, Because not only do we want to and the dogs must have been filthy because she's got them back in and Been raining outside, and they must be really, really dirty. Okay, there's that. I'll give you data for an armor program. Obtain all four parts to complete the armor. The one I give you now is the head program for the blade armor. It allows you to consume less energy as you use your special weapons. I'm praying for world peace and for your safety. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're gonna save him. We're gonna shoot these idiots down. We're gonna step in here and get this helmet. Now see, now we'll have to go through the stage one more time to get the heart piece. And uh, gosh, mercy! As you see, these things come back, and they are a pain. They'll only drop one soul thing per time, though. So if you've already defeated one of them, don't worry about it. Actually, if you want to, you probably just, I think you can drop down to the side here. I don't think those spikes will kill you if you drop down to the side. <coughs> now, um, you're going to use the Yanmar option. You have to hit the A button for some reason to select it. I'm not sure why. This will be ground scare, but how much time we got? We can go back to that stage one more time. Try to get the hard tank. He gets on my nerves. Ground Scarabitch, you must be the burglar of ruins. What are you doing here? Well, 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 what have we here? Why, it's Officer X. This is horrible. Why do I have to face someone like you here? Be a smart reploid and give me the information on the nightmares. I'd rather just see what DNA data you have. So you're going to use these. Yeah, you'll probably have to run into... You don't really have to run into the ball. But some of them that come up a bigger... They'll be, they'll be bad. But you can still shoot while having the... But you have to let these hit him. You have to let the dragonflies hit him, but you can shoot the other stuff. 
And sometimes the dragonflies will destroy the big um, balls of stuff that he rolls out. Kind of like a huge dung beetle, I guess. In other words. But you can't put poop on the game. <laughs> Not good. Okay. Um, got the ground ash. Crush certain types of rocks with this. Um, I'll show you what happens when you don't. I got a life up in another part. Ground Scarabitch, an, an ex treasure hunter. He was devoted to the research on an ancient site. He also had lots of research data on ancient robots. Gate took care of Scarabitch in exchange for the ancient data. Gate improved his knowledge from him. Then Gate had him go to a forbidden area. It was the place that you were both discovered. I saw Scarabitch enter the place. I felt bad, but I disposed him. Gate didn't seem to care. I didn't want to remember this. She was a colleague of Gates, so she kind of did what Gates said, and Gates not really a good person. So, um, that one, see, now it'll say Death One. And if you look at the stage it's on, you'll see where it says Death and who it was. Um, like I said, I'm not real, real worried about getting all of them. We're going to go back into that stage, though. And we're going to try to get the heart tank. The heart tank is in one of those areas that I went through. So we're going to try to get the heart tank. So we went high last time. We're going to try to go low this time on each one of them. The good thing is if we find the heart tank early... <laughs> yeah, right. If we find the heart tank early, we can um, we can leave the stage automatically. But uh, I'm assuming and I'm thinking it's probably going to be in the uh, in the bottom of the last statue. It'll probably be there, so we'll probably have to end up going through the entire stage again. And if you can, and you can go through there and not take too much damage, and go through there and not take too much damage, and then just kill the things, and then you'll be done. Anything that'll make it a little bit faster. It's not a hard stage. It's not really a long stage either. It's just there's a bunch of crap in there. Hell, I was going to blast him, but uh, kind of got hit in the head with a rock. A lot of the stages in this game are not, um, they are very, uh, they're non-linear. You probably wonder why I didn't shoot him while it was up there. It's because I was trying to collect the soul thing. Crap. See, that was a different area y'all hadn't seen before either. Last time I had trouble getting the... Um, last time I had trouble getting the armor uh, the other day. While I was practicing, I had trouble getting the armor part. I couldn't quite figure out how to get it. And now it's the heart that I'm having trouble with. <laughs> See... <clears throat> you have trouble with one, and then you have trouble with the other. I don't think there's anything down here. No, there's not. But you can slide an awful lot of falling in there. By the way, they can shoot through walls. You can't. <clears throat> You'll have to live with that, so. It's a pain in the butt. There's the heart. There's what we were wanting. I can't shoot this guy. There we go. There's Oscar again, guys. He's the little wild child I have here. Okay. So we're going to go and we're going to quit out of this area. Now go back to this screen. I got two more. Speedster and energy up. And we got the heart tank. They won't tell you how many heart tanks or anything you have. So you kind of have to know what you have. Um... 
see here's the parts and see those green spots are the ones that you can equip on X and those are the ones you can equip now we might do one more stage I think we'll go through blaze uh, blaze blaze heat next stage and we're not getting anything this time we'll get reploids and things like that but we're not going to do anything else through this stage we're going to get through the stage and then we're going to we'll stop there you'll come back to some of these stages to collect other things but you have to have different armor and things to get them so that's why we're going through them and then we'll come back later now pain in the butt right here these things right here are a pain you have to shoot these four uh, these four glowing orbs watch out because even though I'm on hunter mode and I can pretty much destroy them and not take I mean I'll take damage I'll take <laughs> damage but and guys just just forgive Oscar for barking he's I like to shoot them from across the room and then when they get close I swing the blade at them because I can get a couple hits in on the blade now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly across so you can do damage with your dash but Yeah, you can shoot those green balls of energy down if you think that'll help you. Also, another good thing to use on these, but you'll have to use it on some of the ones later on, is the um, the uh, Yanmar option thing, and those will usually those will usually work pretty good against them too. I don't know how to get rid of these stupid things, these stupid fireflies. I know they attack you after a time. That's another thing through this section. You'll want to be careful and uh, not do too much of this fire. I'm doing it, like I said, because I can take the damage and I'm just showing you guys where stuff is. If you're playing on regular mode, though, you'll have to be a little bit more careful. And that's stuck. Crap. Oh, well. You should have more than enough. That if you miss one or two of them, it shouldn't be too bad of a deal. Ha ha! Beat you to him. Ow. It sucks. Here's another one of these. This one may take you a little bit longer. Go up here and save this red void first. You don't have to do it the way I do it. I just find it easier to do it this way. And take out those two top ones first. And then just slash down. Or have a charge shot and do it whenever they whenever they go the other way. And now I just dodge them when they come up here. Oh. I just find it easier to do it this way. I mean, yeah, you do sometimes have to dodge some shots, but it's not as bad. I should have hit him with that saber. And I did not do it. Okay, that one's finally gone. I think I'll just crack him with the saber when he comes up here, and then maybe I'll get up against the wall if I have to. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Don't expect them to drop anything because they don't. Now you can go straight across and that's probably what we're going to do the first time. Of course you can go up here. You can't get up there yet though because you need the armor. And there's a heart piece up there as you've probably seen. And here's another one of these stupid rolly things. We are going to do some other stuff though real quick. And even though those are going to come back, we're going to do everything else we can. That's another thing. These stupid things get all up in my way. I 
That's about the first time I've ever been able to chase him through there and do that. The best thing to do is to wait for him down here. Take care of this chump. And then just wait for him as he comes down through here. Hopefully he'll, hopefully he'll, um, there we go. You'll face like maybe four of them in the stage. Depending upon which way you go. Now this is infuriating you have to kill this um this one if you get to the top of the chasm without killing him you'll still have to face him but there will be water and stuff so you'll use this a few times to attack him good i blew out the side <laughs> Crap! Now this is probably where you'll have to use these. If you drop in that purple stuff, I don't know if you just take damage or if you actually die. Now if you came in through the top part of the door, that's where you would have came in where that door was right there. You guys may not be able to touch the purple stuff. I don't know. I know for me it does damage. Now, it, now when you not when you kill him, um, whenever that may be, when you kill him, it stops rising. So you kind of want to take him out as quickly as possible, but at the same point, I'm not able to do that, and I'm taking him. See, because he like, he like appears over there. I can't hit him over there. There we go. Well, we weren't able to save the Repoid going up through here. I'm not really sure he was worth anything anyway. these things come in they hit you and everything else I don't really know how to deal with them now there will be the now there will be no okay there's another little rolling thing right here play it though for those of you who do want to get through it and you do want to beat it. Okay. I forgot to switch back and I hit the button that does the weapon. <laughs> I did not supposed to hit that. I think the boss is over here. Yes, the boss is here. You may have to let him kill you the first time. He might kill me the first time. I'm not sure. Maybe. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. You are strong compared to the others. I was bored because there is no strong repoid left on the ground. Although I was ordered not to kill. It's too hard, isn't it? He he he. You must be Blaze Heatniks. Brainwashing repoids is lame. Don't you think so? 
let's fight to see who's the strongest. It's like, they always want to, it's, it's always like, let's fight, let's fight. And it's like, really? Do we all have to just fight? He'll throw these rock things at him. Now, when he's down underneath you, he'll do that. He'll go back and forth in the stuff, and then he'll come up. You want to try to hit him whenever he's up there as many times as he'll let you. Then, usually, he'll put it on the bottom. When he puts it on the bottom, he's a little bit easier to hit. He can cancel out your shots with stuff, too. But you'd still have to jump to avoid that. There's another part where he goes flying across the room at different altitudes. You have to maybe try to stay in the middle by jumping on those on the sides of those uh, rocks and hope that you can dodge him whichever way he goes. So, um, like I said, we'll have to come back to that stage to get the other thing. The next stage would be Blizzard Wolfangs, and we would just go through there and defeat him and not get anything. Got the Magma Blade, fires a wide range blade from Saber, but we're not going to do it yet. Um, I got the Ultimate Buster this time. I didn't, I don't think I got it last time. Blaze Heatnix, an ex investigator for the hotspot. His ability is far beyond the others. He could research any dangerous area. All other members who fell behind were killed. Gate, who created Heatnix, improved his powers and strengths. In order to prevent any more victims, Heatnix was disposed deep underground. And Wolfangs is another one that we'll have to go through. See, his will be a nightmare one. Um, but it'll be a little bit different whenever we go through it. So, um, But we have uh, Blizzard Wolfang. Um, the one beside of him is Shield Sheldon. That's Metal Shark Player. That's Infinity Mijanon and Rainy Turtloid. And um, we'll take them as we go across and um, we'll destroy them. We'll have to go back to some of the stages. I think we're done with I think we're done with ground scare of it's just stage. There's a sub tank in this Amazon area that you need. And there's some stuff in the magma area there that you need. And like this guy's stage, we'll go through his stage too. Uh, we'll probably get the weapon tank. You don't have to get it this time, but we'll probably go ahead and get what we can get. And then, um, then we'll defeat him and then we'll have to come back to the stage. So that's it for part one. Until next time, we will see you later.